Councillor uh, looked at uh, the effect of AFib ablation in patients with heart failure and AFib in terms of uh, heart primary endpoint of mortality and admissions for heart failure when compared to conventional treatment or pharmacological treatment. Uh, the results were presented, as you, as you know, and, uh, and, and were published in New England Journal of Medicine February 1st, showing ablation does reduce mortality, does reduce hospitalization, obviously in the primary composite endpoint, and it does reduce cardiovascular mortality and hospitalization as well. Uh, we have uh, demonstrated in uh, the previous meeting that um, uh, catheter ablation of heart failure patients improves uh, clinical outcome. And uh, the question uh, that uh, was raised here was how can we predict uh, the uh, ablation effort uh, to get the best clinical results? Uh, and we looked both at time to first recurrence and uh, at uh, the AF burden reduction and found that uh, time to first recurrence, which is uh, uh, used in most uh, clinical trials was uh, not predictive uh, in Castle F. However, reduction in F burden, both after ablation but also the relative reduction from pre to post ablation, predicted the outcome, and we could demonstrate that 40 and 50 percent reduction, respectively, was associated with reduction of mortality and heart failure hospitalization. I think that um, currently. Um, uh, time to first recurrence is seen as uh, the major endpoint uh, for ablation of atrial fibrillation. And in these patients, there's a high recurrence rate. Uh, however, Castle F and the analysis of the AF burden has demonstrated uh, that there is a significant improvement of clinical outcome when AF burden is reduced but not fully suppressed. So we have a clear uh, new answer uh, to how atrial fibrillation ablation works and can be very effective. You would agree changing guidelines? Absolutely. <laughs> I think we change the guidelines of and, um, how patients with AFib are treated uh, yes. and heart failure. We have to be careful to focus on this population of heart failure patients suffering for AFib. But uh, these are the patients with the worst prognosis and uh, uh, it's an unsolved uh, issue even in uh, heart failure treatment. Uh, most of the current um, drug treatments are based on uh, sinus rhythm and we now have a good option for those patients suffering from atrial fibrillation.